Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Onion skins in Anime Studio Pro 9 have seen some improvements. There are three features I want to cover, so let's get started. First, we'll of course need to enable onion skins. So come over here to your Onion Skins button and choose Enable Onion Skins. Now I need to select some frames for the onion skin, so I'll just come down here and select a few frames. The first thing you'll notice on my screen is that the further away an onion skin is from the current frame, the more transparent it will be. You can see here, this onion skin is fading out this one is slightly faded, and then it gets more solid as it gets towards the current frame. This allows you to easily determine which onion skins are closer and which ones are further away. Secondly, if I page forward in the timeline, you'll see now that my onion skin outlines are red and green. The red ones are the onion skins that come before the current frame. The green ones will come after the current frame, so it's always to see what's before the keyframe and what's after the keyframe. And once again, you'll notice some of my onion skins are faded out. The first onion skin is faded as well as the last. Finally, let's come down here to the onion skin button and deselect outlines only. This is a new feature in Anime Studio Pro 9. Before you could only do outlines for your onion skins, but now, you can see the whole object if you wish. This has some advantages, especially if the outlines are not giving you enough detail for your onion skins. But as you can see, we still have the fade effect, so that's good. And also, images will now work for onion skins. If you turn off the outlines, you'll be able to see your images in onion skinning. And those are the improvements made to the onion skinning process in Anime Studio. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio 9, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out for more Anime Studio 9 tutorials because I have made plenty, and I'll see you next time.